Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. A little chilly down here this morning, and uh, it's actually snowing at a pretty good clip outside. We're destined for somewhere between four and six inches. I don't know how much we got out there now, but either way, I don't like it. I thought we would kind of get away with a lot less snow this year, but the past few weeks we've been getting everything we've been missing. But either way, I just have a couple of quick videos for you guys this week. I'm going to separate them into two parts, just because they're two completely different subjects. And one of them is on the nickel plate kit that I used to nickel plate the knobs for the toolbox that I showed in the previous video. A bunch of people had asked for that. A couple of people asked for the comments. I got a bunch of emails about it. So I'll throw up a quick video of how those worked. I actually videotaped it when I was doing the box. I just didn't make it into the video because the, I didn't want the video length to be that long. And then also we need to tram my mill and vise because we're going to be using that a lot on our next project and we're going to be doing that with one of these edge technology doodads here pro trams i've had this for a long time i've just never used it so it'll be your first time using this we'll be get going on this little casting project here in a little while i'm just need to order some off the shelf pots and bearings and some material to make the spindle and things like that i was just waiting for the beginning of the next month to you know pay your bills and see how much you have left to throw at this thing and also i've been kind of playing around with some new editing software and made a new opening for the video so if you guys like that comment down below and tell me what you think in the meantime let's get on to the two videos okay so i want to, or i need to replace these knobs on the toolbox that I'm restoring mainly because that screw is rusted to crap um, these are 5 8 in diameter I could not find any 5 8 nickel knobs that kind of match this style anywhere what I did find is 5 8 brass knobs these are polished brass so now we got a nickel plate them so I got a nickel plate kit this is the Caswell nickel plating kit they have all different kinds of kits uh they have nickel plate they have gold plate silver plate all kinds of plating kits um and they have all different kinds of sizes this one is their smallest one this is a science kit this is 64 dollars it comes with your two electrode two nickel electrodes i notched these to hook them up like this said it comes with this jumper wire and it comes with a power supply okay and two containers of this roughly 600 milliliters I think is what it was I've already tried this and it worked great but the only thing is you have to make sure whatever you're plating is free of flaws the nickel plate is not going to cover up any kind of scratches or anything and it'll actually emphasize it if anything also you want to make sure that this is as clean as humanly possible uh, I used acetone to clean them which the instructions specifically say don't use but um, I think it's more of a chemical reaction if it still has the acetone on there. So these have been drying for like 20 minutes. So there's no acetone on here. Also, you want to make sure whatever you're planning is not lacquer coated. The way you can tell brass is not lacquer coated, take a polishing compound like Brasso and rub it. If your rag turns black, it's polishing the metal. That means that there is no lacquer on there. If there is lacquer on there, you'll have to get the lacquer off. There's plenty of chemical solutions that'll allow you to do that. You can boil it. You can use um, boiling and vinegar. There's tons of methods. But anyway, this is the method that these were not lacquer plated. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to pour our solution into here. Just one. There should be enough. They, ha they make a lot bigger kits, but like I said, I'm only doing these, these and I want to see how they came out first. So I bought the cheapest kit that they had, which was $64. They have ones that range anywhere from uh, that this $64 kit up, up to a couple of hundred dollars. So we want to make sure that we're suspended in the solution, not touching the bottom of this container not touching each other and not touching the electrodes and we want to make sure that we're sufficiently submerged which you can probably do a little bit better let's see what we got there 
All right, that looks a little bit better. We're submerged. We're a little close to the bottom, so let's see if I can give it just a little bit more. That's better. And we're not touching, and we're not touching the electrodes. And what we want to do is we're going to add this jumper to our positive. One electrode inside, one electrode outside. No matter where I clip it, just clip it. And again, make sure we're not touching the electrode or any of the plastic in there. And we'll take our second negative electrode. We're going to clip our parts there. And then we're going to plug this sucker in. And we should see bubbles if it's working correctly. And we do. I don't know if it'll show up on camera. But there are bubbles forming in there. You can kind of see it now. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave those in there. Last time I only did a single piece. And it worked great. This time I did a... Uh, uh, a Junction of four, also in the instructions, it, it tells you how to keep um, the current at a certain level. I believe it wants to nickel plating preferred 70 milliamps per square inch. Power supply supplies a fixed 300 milliamps. Build a radio stat to control amperage. I didn't do that and it worked fine. Now the kit calls for one ten thousandth of an inch per hour. And we are going to leave this sucker in there probably for like two hours. Um, we'll give it a few minutes here, and then I'll pull them up, and we'll see if we're actually starting to plate the metal. All right, it's only been in there for about five minutes or so, and you can see we already have a nickel color in there. So we're leaving this sucker in there for a couple hours, and we'll be back to see what they look like. Okay, so this is the second batch. That's why this is going to look a little bit differently on the electrical setup, but we're just going to unplug it. And unclip. And we're going to pull these out. And that's what she looks like. I'll run these under some water. Okay, so here's what they look like. You can see they're dull, and after a quick polish, is your finished product. I went a little too aggressive on the edge here on this one. Um, so just be aware of that. I mean you can wear through it but I can just pop this in there again. Not a big thing. 